Your brain faces a lot of challenges when you have depression, and this is because it becomes harder for it to communicate. You see, like any of your other organs, parts of your brain can sometimes malfunction, making it harder for it to moderate your emotions. On top of this, cortisol, which is your main stress hormone, increases, which can lead to a shrinkage of gray matter. What is gray matter, you ask? Well, it's basically the stuff that looks after learning, memory, emotions, decision-making, and self-control. Which is why it can be so hard to do everyday tasks when you're depressed, like going to work, eating, and sleeping. Then there's inflammation, which can hamper your brain's communication nerves even further. Now, I know that we typically associate inflammation with body parts becoming swollen and hot. But with depression, Inflammation is more about a communication breakdown within your brain's nerve networks. This makes it harder for your brain to keep your emotions in check and prevents you from staying emotionally healthy. And that's not all. Chemical imbalances also have their role to play. To feel good, some of your brain chemicals need to be in perfect balance. And when their levels drop, it's often not long before depression develops. Whether depression is a cause or effect of brain changes is still a big question. And though it's hard to prove which came first, we do know that they're all connected. But no matter the cause, if you have depression, please know that it's not a character flaw, but a real illness, just like any other physical health concern. And with the right support and medication, you'll be well on your way to living a healthier, happier life.